Before Hicks and Gracie's first Valet Tudo match in Anything Goes fight against the intimidating King Zulu, he received a visit from his opponent in the locker room while he was warming up. King Zulu was trying to intimidate him. I remained focused and waited for him to leave. I knew I was ready, is how he describes his mindset before the fight. It wasn't until after the first round, when he'd thrown everything he had at King Zulu, and he kept coming, that he started to panic. It was like I was looking at a big river that I needed to cross, he said. My mind started telling me, the other side is too far, the water is too deep, the current is too strong, you can't make it. He tried to quit then and there. He asked his father to throw in the towel and was refused. He simply told Hickson that his opponent was more tired and that Hickson would win. When he went out for the second round, his mind switched to survival mode. It was either kill or be killed. The two fighters engaged and Hickson realized that his father was right. King Zulu was in fact more tired than he was. He broke him down and choked him out. But the cool thing about this fight is that Hickson Gracie, with his self-awareness, realized his shortcomings. If you fear something that has not even happened, he says, then quitting becomes a form of self-protection. Fear is not the enemy, it's simply a self-protection mechanism that must be managed. At the time, Hickson continues, I was not confident enough to believe in myself unconditionally, who was afraid of the unknown. He recognized the danger of panicking in the heat of the moment and got to work on a philosophical approach to it. He was physically and mentally confident, but he was missing a piece of the puzzle in the form of a spiritual connection. If you don't have the spiritual connection, Hickson says, you can't dance on the razor's edge. I made a vow to myself. From that day forward, I would always try to cross the river, no matter the consequences. This made a huge difference, not just in my fighting career, but in the way I looked at life. Moving forward, if I committed to something, I was resigned to the outcome, no matter what it might be. 